So pictures are worth a thousand words. I'd like to thank everybody that has emailed me pictures from all over the country about what they're seeing in their stores, prices, and all kinds of stuff. And I put them all in today's video that are ones that I received this week. So thank you again. If you would like to share your videos or your pictures or whatever that you take from your local stores, you can always email me, you know, and send them to me and I'll put them into my Sunday videos on food shortages. You know, the email is in the description below. You can just shoot them to me if you'd like, and I will put those into the next following week's video. Now, today I'm going to try to give you guys some tips on how maybe to save some money, especially for you large families. But this could also go for a lot of people out there, um, people that are on Social Security, uh, people that are on, um, you know, maybe you're, you're getting retirement, but maybe you're not getting that much in retirement. Um, you know, people that are disabled, anybody that can save a little bit of money and try to get more products and put away for a rainy day if you're saving money and everything else. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over some sites here. And these are websites that are like coupon websites and all types of deals websites to help give you some information on what you really need to be looking at. The first one is crazycouponlady.com. They have all kinds of coupons and everything else and they give you pointers and tricks and everything on how to do all kinds of different things. It's a really, really good site, so check them out. There's another one, it's called southernsavers.com. And these people, they do a lot of the stores and stuff that are in the south, um, but the same principle. They try to save you money. You can get coupons for a lot of different products and everything else. It's just a beautiful thing. There's another one that's called I Heart Publix. Now that Publix is mostly a Southern state chain, um, but this here, they give you all the different types of deals and coupons that you can print off. And then, you know, hopefully if the coupon lasts long enough, maybe you can get it when it's a, uh, uh, you know stuff's on sale or whatever else and save even more money Nowadays you have to be very frugal in what you are doing and how you are doing it uh, There's another one's called I Heart Kroger now Kroger is throughout the United States and Same principle they just they, they're there you can go in you can get the coupons and everything else uh, Totally target that's another one that's for the target stores um, you have like your website ones like uh, Capital One I think is one uh, like if you're going to be ordering stuff online and stuff and it'll tell you if you can get it cheaper somewhere else or anything It's a free service. All you have to do is just go in and sign up for it and it'll tell you If you're getting the best deal or not And then it'll also have codes and stuff and you can run the codes and see if any of them work for you And you might be able to save some more money on that side Amazon actually has coupons also so you can always make sure you're looking for coupons on Amazon mm -hmm. I use Rakuten myself. Um, it does add up. A little bit helps. You know, it just depends on what you're buying. Another good one is coupons.com. That's a big one. I think a lot of people know about that one. Uh, they've been around for a very, very long time. Uh, savings.com is another good one. And, and these are just some sites and stuff that hopefully maybe everybody can go out there and and try to save some money in the hard times that we're living in right now and things are only going to get worse uh, so the more money you can save and either buy more product or try to put money away uh, is going to be a very good thing for you and your family so I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I just wanted to bring you some a little bit of information. Sure. I showed you the pictures and stuff that everybody had sent in for this past week from all over the country. You and also got some tips on some websites, so hopefully you can get some coupons and save yourself some money. So until next time, folks, I hope everybody stays safe. You keep prepping. Get those coupons. Try to save yourself some money. Buy the sales with the coupons. You're going to save even more money. That's what it's all about, folks. So until next week, I'll catch you all on the flip side.